my advice to having a good um, relationship with your roommate is to once again be yourself because um, your roommate's really accepting and there's someone to talk to when you have a bad day. And the hardest part about having a roommate is probably that you're so different sometimes. The best part about having a roommate is almost like having an extra sibling, which is nice. Well, I mean, it's scary at first, but then it gets better. It's like a little mini family. My favorite thing about living in a dorm is just having a bunch of other guys there that you can, you know, go hang out with at night and talk to if you're having a bad day or whatever, you know, or like if you have, need help with homework or anything like that, they're always there and, you know, it's nice to always have people around you. You want to be able to tell them things. That way they can support you through everything, whether it's school or family or friends. I feel like you get a bond with not just the kids in the dorm, but the kids that are the dorm parents' kids as well. A lot of people say Proctor is one big family, but there are families inside of families, and I think your dorms are a perfect example of that. My dorm was a home immediately and I felt extremely comfortable, like I could tell them anything and go to them with any concerns. And it made the whole living situation that I was nervous about a lot easier. The best thing about having a roommate here at Proctor is that um, there's always someone to go to, there's always someone to support me. But you know, <laughs> there, are bad, there are bad parts too. I'd say the worst thing uh, is, you know, the competitive edge that both of us have. You never know, like, you may switch roommates, you may have many different roommates, but those will always be people that you can come back to and that can last you forever. It's been great here at Proctor. Um, my roommate's actually amazing and um, she's great company. <laughs>